Hi everyone, my name's Cody and today we'll be talking about colliders and rigid bodies. I think it's important to first start to define these terms, so let's start with a collider. Um, a collider defines the shape of a game object for the purposes of physical collisions, aka it allows it to collide with other things. Now a rigid body allows game objects to be recognized by the physics engine and we can do special things with it. So let's add a rigid body component to the cube. Now we can see here that it gives this cube a mass of one, a drag of zero, an angular drag of 0 0.05. We can tell it to use gravity or not use gravity. Um, and also, is it kinematic? So if we turn on is kinematic, this game object cannot be moved. So this cube won't move at all and it will accept all collisions and collide with other objects. It just won't be moved. So let's use gravity and just play this. Now we expect this to fall. Yes, yes it does. Awesome, so now let's see what it looks like if it doesn't have gravity. We'd expect it to just kind of float and that's kind of the behavior that we get is we get this floating cube and we can move it around. But if something were to hit this cube um, it would just kind of float away as it's in space, right? Because we don't have gravity. Now, we'll test kinematic, but we'll test it later. Let's create some collisions. Let's, let's drop a sphere on this cube. So if you actually right-click in this hierarchy and you go down to 3D object, you can create or uh, bring in a primitive shape into Unity, or you can click this plus sign up here, 3D object and sphere. So I'm just gonna create a sphere. Typically when you bring in a game object into your scene, sometimes the position is off. And I think it does it based off of the camera's angle. The problem is it's not exactly where I want it. I want it to be centered in the middle. So if you click these three dots and click reset, it resets the transforms position to zero, 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 which is also where I'm working. So this is perfect. You can manually enter zeros as well, but it's just more work. So. I'm using right click, I'm holding it down on my mouse, and I'm using WASD keys to navigate in the scene view. And I'm doing this because I'm trying to line up this sphere and this cube. So when I drop the cube, it kind of collides with the cube and then rolls off. So if I press play now, the sphere is actually not going to move because we haven't applied a rigid body to it. So let's apply one. Now, we're going to tell it to have gravity because we want it to, to fall down and hit the cube. And we're just going to leave the mass the same. I'm not going to go into interpolate or collision detection today. Uh, we'll save that for another video. So if I click play, the sphere should fall down and bounce off the cube. Yep, perfect. Now, let's go to the cube. We notice that this cube is floating away into the abyss of the Unity game engine, and that's because we're not using gravity. And we also didn't tell it to be kinematic. Kinematic means it freezes the position of that cube and it won't move. So let's turn it on and see how it behaves. Perfect. So the cube is not going to move. It's just stuck there unless we manually move it in our scene view. So if we turn off is kinematic and turn on gravity, the cube falls down as we, we would expect. So let's turn on gravity for our cube. And let's have our sphere also be gravity enabled. And let's see these two collide. Awesome. Pretty much exactly what we would expect from two objects with gravity being applied to them in the physics engine. That is pretty much it. That sums it up. You need colliders to collide with other objects and you need a rigid body to apply gravity and to register those collisions.